For those of you interested in building models, uh, like the Tamiya brand that I use on my Motorcycle Mania and uh, model collection videos that you've seen on YouTube, uh, here's a quick shot of uh, the workspace that I have for building these models. I've gotten pretty specialized over the years as to what I use and what works and what doesn't. And as you can see, I've got a well laid out, well lit space. Uh, a good selection of uh, paints, paint brushes. I use a paper plate with toothpicks to apply the glue. Uh, you can see what I'm working on right now. Here's a Moto Guzzi I'm working on. And uh, I even just recently bought a special light that uh, also has a magnifying area, as you can see there as the camera moves over it, which allows me to uh, see quite well very closely detailed work. You can see what I'm working on now here is the frame, and there's the wheels. Just finished up the engine, as you can see here. But I uh, use these Tamiya brand kits. I love them. They work quite well. And uh, maybe that will give you an idea of uh, basically what it takes to put one of these models together. Uh, it can take me up to a year sometimes to do them because I don't do them all the time. Um, sometimes I knock them off in a couple of months. It depends on, you know, how into it I am, what time, how much extra time I have, how much extra uh, extra free time to, to work with here. Anyway, that gives you an idea of um, basically a space and the types of tools. I have razor blades and X-Acto knives, um, rubber bands for holding parts uh, while they glue, uh, I will even insert uh, things into the seams of the boxes like you see there uh, to help parts glue after I've painted them and so forth. Tweezers are a must. Um, filing, uh, little files, little just uh, uh, fingernail files to help file down the parts after you trim them off the part trees. Uh, these to my kits come with the tubing so that it looks like you've got the real uh, piping and uh, spark plug wiring and so forth. Very realistic. Hope this helps.